But I think the first time I noticed it was I was cutting a tree down in our backyard, cut it down, I was cutting it up into logs, and I could just feel the heart was really beating, and I didn't feel right. So I just kind of sat down, and within a few minutes, it would pass, and I'd get up and continue on doing what I was doing, and went and talked to my doctor about that, and asked him to refer a cardiologist. Then they went and put a monitor on me to try to determine what, what it was. It was after three recordings, you're supposed to call it in. We called it in. They called like the next day and said, come in, we know what the problem is. And they diagnosed it as AFib. Uh, they tried medication. They thought it was working. Mm -hmm. And I think within a day or two after they released me, I felt the fibrillation starting up again. The advantages to the hybrid procedure are several. One, it's less invasive than current surgical maze procedures. So patients go home quicker and have a shorter recovery time. It also has what we think to be a better success rate than our current catheter-based ablations that we do from the inside of the heart. Finally, it allows us to treat the left atrial appendage, which is where most people have their strokes come from. And what we do during a pulmonary vein isolation procedure and during the hybrid procedure is to provide an ablation line through here, circumferentially, to, accent, to exclude the electrical signal from the pulmonary veins and the heart. So if atrial fibrillation wants to start in the pulmonary veins, it can't enter the heart. And we've been doing ablations on the heart for quite a long time in traditional open heart surgery. The difference being in open heart surgery, the heart is stopped. Um, and so it's very easy to make good quality burns or ablations on the heart. And these burns, in order to be effective, have to be full thickness, meaning from the inside of the heart extending all the way to the outside. Um, when the heart is beating, however, it gets very hard um, to make those same quality ablations. And that's due to the limitations because of blood circulating within the heart. So as a result, it becomes very difficult if you just go from the inside or if you just perform ablations from the outside. So in order to get that full thickness burn or ablation, you usually need to approach the, uh, the area from both directions at the same time. The other principal advantage is by doing this in conjunction with the electrophysiologist, we can do this through a very minimally invasive approach, typically three one centimeter incisions on the chest. So literally the size of something like this. I feel good and I know probably in the next few more months I'm going to be that much better, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>